friend bring this over to me today and uh, he said give it a try see if I can fix it I said I've never did this before so what the heck I'll try it got a float from a carburetor I think he said it goes to a lawnmower uh, you can uh, see what we gotta try to fix how you get a hole that big in there I have no idea looks like uh, looks like something might have went through it because uh, it's folded over right here like something might have just went down like that or something I have no idea I don't really see nothing folded over on that side but anyway this looks like it's been repaired before a few times a big spot right here it's got some spots right here there so it looks like this is uh, having some issues it's probably gonna get to a point sometime where it's just gonna have to be replaced and it might be after I get done with it like I said I've never done it before but uh, I'm gonna give it a try what the heck nothing to lose here so I guess first we'll clean up this clean up the area so the solder will stick around there I'm just gonna use uh, just regular uh, I got some old Radio Shack rosin core solder standard stuff I guess it is we'll try some of that with regular soldering iron I'm gonna clean this all up though and then uh, and we'll go from there. I just got some uh, emery cloth type stuff, really fine stuff. Alright, let me take this and rinse this off a little bit. Get all this dust out of here and uh, I'll be right back. Well, got a little update for you. After cleaning this all up, I, I rinsed it off with water and everything, so it took me a while to get the, all the water out and everything. But um, I noticed a couple other things. The other repairs that were done on this, from what I can tell, I didn't see no other holes or anything on this one. No leaks. Uh, and when I shake it, there's actually fluid in this side. I don't know if you can hear that or not. So the last repair that was done on this, they must have not got all the fluid out of there. But as I was cleaning this up, look what I found on the side here. That's not good. That's a big hole, a little big old crack right there. So I guess we'll try to see if we can fix that too. I have to I have to repeat that I've never done this before, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix this or not. But what the heck, we'll give it a try. Maybe we'll start with this one right here. Give us practice for the big one. <laughs> so I just want to get something to hold this thing up here. And we'll see what see what happens. I'm assuming it's like uh, maybe sweating together some water pipes in your house or gotta get it warm first. Don't want to get too much solder on there so it weighs it down. That might work for that hole. Hopefully you can see that. I might, the light might be too bright. Trying to get the big pieces off there. Let me 
get a get a look under the little magnifying glass I got here. Isn't the best looking solder job. Looks like I need a little more down at the, down at the end here. See that, that I think it uh, the light's gonna play a little, be a little bright on there. But uh, it looks like I got the uh, the two places covered up. I mean, I guess we'll see after we stick it in some water if I gotta touch it up some more. I know it can't be that easy, or can it? I don't know. We'll find out. Now this one here, I don't know how I'm going to do this one. I don't want to drop a bunch of solder inside of it. I'm just going to tip it on the side a little bit. and Maybe try to do a little bit at a time. Trying to heat it up. This is probably never going to happen, but especially with it straight up and down like that, I just I don't think it's going to fill too well. A little bit at a time, I guess. Or I might have to use something to uh, place over the hole. And then solder that down to it. Almost like we have to do it upside down practically to to keep the, um, the solder from going in. Got it covered, but um, as soon as I put some more solder on there, it's going to uncover again. Yep. Try to keep it cool. I don't know. 
this is all test for me. Well, there I actually got it all covered in there. Let's see if I can turn off some of these lights, maybe. Maybe this one, too. You can kind of see I got a solder blob right over the top of that. Close we can get to the camera without so it sees it. I don't know how much weight that put on to it. If it'll even because you know I can't it don't feel nothing, you know, in my hands, but once it's sitting in liquid, it might not it might not even be able to tell. Let me take a look at it under the glass, magnifying glass. It looks like, unfortunately, it has a hole. Let's see if we can... There we go, we got that one. I think there's another one over there. Tough, tough, tough. All right, let's uh, let's get this, get it cleaned up a little bit, and uh, throw it in some water and see if uh, see if it does anything. I just got some alcohol here. I'm gonna clean up the flux a little bit. be good. I have a dish of water behind me. It was warm at one time. Oh, I see a hole right there. Or, uh, bubbles right there. I don't know if you've seen that. Coming out right on the side solder point here. Yep, I can see a hole. I didn't get it good enough. Alright. Let me get this all cleaned up and we'll touch that up again and we'll try this again. Alright. I went ahead and did some uh, some rework on there. I didn't, didn't touch this one. I only had to rework this one. I found a little pinhole down at the bottom that I'd never seen before. So I had to, uh, to do that. Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. Maybe that'll get us to be able to see that better. So you can see it. It's not the most beautiful solder job on there. But uh, it was able to cover it up. And uh, I tested it in the other water I had, which was almost getting cold. And uh, it didn't see, I didn't see no bubbles. But uh, we'll test it in this warm water that I got now. And uh, we'll see if there's any bubbles. Make that up just a little bit. Get this, uh... All right, hopefully you can see the bubbles if there's gonna be any. I don't, I hope there's not. The water's a lot hotter now, so who knows. 
without burning my fingers in the water. I'm not seeing any bubbles there. I'm not seeing any bubbles coming up. Are you? On the bottom one, because that's the only one that's in there right now. I figured uh, that was the one we was working on. This is the other one that already has water inside that uh, it must be sealed because the water isn't coming out. But I'm not seeing any any bubbles coming up out of there either. So the warm water forces the air out of this. So that's what uh, that's why we can see the bubbles and stuff in there. But there. Not seeing any bubbles. So I think we're good. I'll give this back to them and uh, let them give it a try. See how it works. Learn something new. It was uh, def it's definitely a challenge soldering this. You got to make sure it's really clean, otherwise that solder doesn't stick. So uh, yeah, there you go. Give it a try if you ever get the chance. Alright, we'll see you on the next one.